how you doing everybody this is bad brad and it's time we talk about ai now we're guitar players we're we love analog we love old technology wire strings magnetic pickups tube amps guitar pedals transistors and now modeling and you know the advancements in sound are coming fast and furious it's literally every other day where some new product comes out and it looks like it's the next most revolutionary thing and it, it's just really amazing what is happening but there's something more shall we say sinister that is rearing its head and it is called ai artificial intelligence now you know it's part of our lives right now and I don't know if you use it out there. I'd like you to let me know in the comments if you're using AI or if you don't use AI or if you, you just want to stay in the analog world. I tell you what, I, I'm kind of with you there. Um, I'd like to see bands get back to using, you know, Fender tube amps and real drums and no tracks and sing live and earn your keep on stage. Um, that's real music. And, you know, I will say this right off the gate. It's up to live musicians to make the difference. There is nothing like a live band. And when I say a live band, a real live band. Um, no tracks, just, you know, four or five guys or women or whatever combination of the two or in between, or whatever whatever you believe. Um, it, there's nothing like the sweat equity of a good band. You can tell when they've played a lot together. You can tell when they have chemistry, and that transmits to the audience. But we've got a new world here. This is a new world that is happening, and AI is here. And you might be using it and not even realize it. Uh, you know, Logic previously had a uh, a mastering sort of button, and you would push that, and it would analyze the data and then set up a mastering chain. That was maybe the first time that I had used it, but even way before that, we've been using AI. If you have Logic Pro, I'm sure the other DAWs, uh, you know, and recording programs have similar things, but you know, Logic had its drummer and I used it for a long time. I even put out some songs in the past using Logic Drummer until I realized, hey, I really like the sound of real drums and, and the energy that a real player brings. But you know, we've been using it for a while, but it's at the point now where you can literally give a prompt to these programs. I, I checked one out today and you put in your prompt and you, you tell it as much detail as you want, and, and the little thing spins around and spins around, and then all of a sudden spits out two you know versions of what it thinks you want, and I'm hearing drums, I'm hearing bass, I'm hearing guitar, I'm hearing vocals, I'm, I'm hearing all of this, and it's all generated without one musician doing anything. You know, we're going to hear more and more of that. Now, when I hear these tracks now, I'm hearing, um, you know, what sounds like program music. But some of what I generated today, man, I, I was kind of impressed with the playing ability. You know, I was asking it to do Steely Dan style tracks and... Man, what it put up was was pretty impressive as far as an analysis of chord changes and bass parts and, and all that. And it, it literally does it in a couple of minutes. And, you know, just recently I talked about having a, a client reach out to me and wanting some track beds and using the bass player in Logic and l using the keyboard player in Logic to get the tracks done really quickly without having to have him come over or send me tracks or or any of that I was able to get these tracks to him very quickly and it sped up the process now I still added some analog guitar and some you know some lead lines and things like that to humanize it but um you know we're getting at the point 
where I wouldn't be surprised if in two to five years, we're seeing robots on stage performing songs. You know, the robots will just need fuel and maybe a little oil and maybe a reboot every now and then. And then once they wear out, they'll just replace it with another robot. And, you know, I think about all the hard work that we did, you know, when I was on the road and how grueling it was and how, you know, it, it, you you just grind yourself to down to the ground. And, you know, with this AI thing coming up, you know, we as humans, you know, at some point you're already listening to artists and they're lip singing and the band's air drumming and air guitaring and and there's so many tracks going on. And I'm talking about up to about, you know, 10 or 11 years ago when I was out on tour that some of the headline acts were using this and playing tracks and really uh, equating to being up there and miming because most of what you heard was pre-recorded. You know, it's what's going to stop them to go, oh, well, the musicians get tired. So we're going to put these robots on stage and, you know, we'll put a, a mask that looks like the artist and we'll just send them out on the road. Hell, we'll, we'll put, send Elvis out on the road. We'll send Jimi Hendrix out on the road. They've already tried this thing with the, the holograms and, you know, the way that worked, it, it didn't, I don't think it ever really took off because it's, it's not the real thing. And I think, you know, this AI thing right now where it sits, it, it's not the real thing. But what's going to make us, you know, still employable? What is going to make, you know, being a guitar player, it's going to come down to your idiosyncrasies, your mistakes, you know, there is a button on Logic for the bass player and the keyboard player to humanize the tracks. They're going to get even better and better at humanizing things. But in the meanwhile, it's that human element which makes us so vital to the music. And until they figure out how to make that so humanized that they can fool you, um, we're not replaceable yet, but it's, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna start affecting people's jobs. It's gonna start affecting, um, how many calls you get to do sessions. It's gonna start affecting how many writers are on these hit songs. You know, it used to be, there'd be six or seven writers on a Beyonce track and you're hearing a song that sounds like it really would only take one one person with a not a very high IQ to write this stuff. But I, I guarantee you, and I'm not in the writer's rooms um, in Nashville. I never broke into the songwriting thing here. Um, it, it seemed almost like players and songwriters, they kept separated. And, you know, I've played gigs where songwriters open, you know, and they just don't, they don't talk to you. They don't integrate themselves with the musicians. And we kind of feel like, here's this guy strumming these three song, three chord songs and, you know, singing about his dead dog or something. And, and it's just like, bro, is that all you got? So there's a divide there, but I guarantee you these guys now are sitting on chat GPT in their writing sessions and looking up rhymes and maybe titles and, and doing things to speed up the process, you know, but pretty soon you're not going to be needed at all. Because if you think you're the only guy that can run chat GPT, those executives could hire people to sit. They could have bots that, that write songs all day. And pretty soon you're not going to be needed either. And, you know, the same could be for us guitar players. The one thing where we can't be replaced yet is live. Performing live, playing live, sweating your ass off, bleeding, uh, playing to the utmost peak of your abilities or maybe even playing at your absolute worst 
The machine cannot do that. The machine cannot put out emotion. The machine is not you. The machine is not me. I can use the machine right now, but to some degree, it's to your own detriment. Use and proceed with caution. Um, I don't have any answers for this. I don't have a solution for this problem that we're soon, it's going to keep snowballing and snowballing and technology is moving so fast and it seems like, you know, you've got to either kind of have your toes dipped in it or you're going to get left in the background. And that same thing goes for, I know a lot of musicians that don't fly their tracks, that don't record at home, and I tell them, get a computer, figure it out. It's not that hard. You, you're getting left behind because the economics of this, it's so much cheaper to record at home and fly your tracks back and forth that you know there's not a whole lot of money in streaming. So you've got to keep your budget small if you want to recoup. And, you know, I tell you, like I said, you've got to be able to operate this stuff. You've got to be able to operate your own recording, you know, stuff and, and do all this stuff. Have your toes in it. But don't ever forget, play your guitar, to play your bass, to play your drums, and to play it the best you can because right now they can't replace that and live they can't replace it at all if you keep it real turn the damn tracks off sing live and if you can't sing live you'll you do like i did back in the day i was on stage and the singer blew his voice out and he was worthless just standing there while I'm working my ass off singing the songs. And I just said, man, if you're not going to sing, get the office stage. I mean, you know, it's just like we're here working. And if you're on a job and someone's not carrying their weight, I'm sorry, I, you know, if it offends you. But everybody has got to work. And you know what? It's time to turn off the tracks and show who you really are because pretty soon you're not going to be needed. They're going to create some AI superstar who's going to go out there with a, with a AI mask and a robot and send them out and just grind it and grind it and grind it and take everybody's money and you're not going to be needed. So get real and get real quick. That is my advice. This is turned into a gear rant because ultimately it's the gear that is going to replace us. You know, I, I often thought about, man, I can get this perfect, you know, guitar sound with this modeler where it, it would take years before, before you found your right amp and your right pedal and your tone and, and got your sound together. Now you just plug in and boom, oh, I got a dumble. You know, and it's like you didn't have to search for it. You didn't have to work for it. There it is. So realize if it's too good to be true and too easy, it just may be too good to be true. So let's keep it real. Let's continue to play live. Let's continue to play live without tracks. Let's give people the real. Let's give them the real emotion, the real feeling and let's let the machines be machines and let the humans be humans. That has been my gear rant for today on AI and the future of music. If you'd enjoyed my comments and my commentary, please hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to help this channel further my move and work here on YouTube, please hit the Sweetwater link and get you some strings, picks, Whatever you buy helps this channel out immensely. I'm Bad Brad, and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.